Today, we will discuss about performing safety procedures in drawing figures and objects in proportion with illustration requirements. This topic will cover occupational safety and health. We will start with Occupational Health and Safety Act of 2004. The objectives of this act are 1. To secure the health, safety and welfare of employees and other persons at work. 2. To eliminate, at the source, risks to the health, safety or welfare of employees and other persons at work. 3. To ensure that the health and safety of members of the public is not placed at risk by the conduct of undertakings by employers and self-employed persons, and the last to provide for the involvement of employees, employers, and organizations representing those persons, in the formulation and implementation of health, safety and welfare standards. What is Occupational Safety and Health or OSH? It is a planned system of working to prevent illness and injury where you work by recognizing and identifying hazards and risks. Health and safety procedure is the responsibility of all persons in the computer and technology industries. You must identify the hazards where you are working and decide how dangerous they are. Eliminate the hazard or modify the risk that it presents. There are three steps to manage health and safety at work. 1. Spot the hazard, hazard identification. A hazard is anything that could hurt you or someone else. Examples of workplace hazards include freight electrical cords could result in electrical shock. Boxes stacked precariously, they could fall on someone. Noisy machinery could result in damage to your hearing. During working hours, you must remain alert to anything that may be dangerous. If you see, hear or smell anything odd, take note. If you think it could be a hazard, tell someone. 2. Assess the risk, risk assessment. Assessing the risk means working out how likely it is that a hazard will harm someone and how serious the harm could be. Whenever you spot a hazard, assess the risk by asking yourself two questions. How likely is it that the hazard could harm me or someone else? How badly could I or someone else be harmed? 3. Make the changes risk control. It is your employer's responsibility to fix hazards. Sometimes you may be able to fix simple hazards yourself, as long as you don't put yourself or others at risk. For example, you can pick up things from the floor and put them away to eliminate a trip hazard. There are four types of hazards. Again, hazard is a situation in the workplace that has the potential to harm the health and safety of people or to damage place and equipment. The situation could involve a task, chemical or equipment used management is a continuous process that can be used to improve the health and safety of all workplaces. One is physical hazards. These are environmental factors that can harm an employee without necessarily touching them, including heights, noise, radiation and pressure. Next is mechanical. It arises from relative movements between parts of the human body and objects such as work equipment or work objects, which lead to their contact. Another is chemical hazards, or any substance that can cause a health problem when ingested or inhaled. There are display cleaning chemicals, keyboard cleaning chemicals, compressed gas dirt and dust removers, and many cleaning solvents. Last is the electric shock hazard, a dangerous condition such that contact or equipment failure can result in electric shock, arc flash burn, thermal burn, or blast. Inside computers and electronic equipment, there is a range of voltages from 3.3 volts to 25 volts, most of which are harmless. But at the power supply, you will find line voltage, which is a lethal 220 volts. There are general safety guidelines we must follow to maintain a safe and healthy workplace. 1. Turn off the power and unplug equipment before opening the case and performing service. 2. Remove accessories and jewelry. Removing conductive materials such as metal rings and watches is a, is a must to avoid being shocked by electricity. 3. Warning of the senses. Be sensitive about smell on something burning, see a component that is burnt or hear something that does not sound not normal, immediately stop what you are doing and make sure to check the abnormality. 
Remove and re remove and replace as soon as possible. 4. Never open a power supply or a monitor. Even when unplugged power supplies can retain dangerous voltage. 5. Know where the fire extinguisher is located and learn how to use it. How to use it. 6. Know where the first aid kit is located. 7. Keep food and drinks out of your workspace. 8. Keep your workspace clean and free of clutter. And last, number 9. Lift heavy objects with sturdy leg support to avoid back injury. Take note that a safe workspace is clean, systematized, and well lit. A hazardous computer component must dispose or recycled properly. Make it a habit to follow gu guidelines that direct how to dispose specific